Today, we're gonna talk about what to do when someone says yes. What's the next step? Somebody says, yeah, sure. I'm interested in your program, your product, your company, your opportunity. Or maybe they just say, what is it? I'm curious, tell me more. The key to success is simplify to multiply. Does that make some sense? Because some of us, we overcomplicate this very, very simple business. And I know this to be true because I did it for many years. Stop overcomplicating it. Stop explaining your business. You should not be doing presentations. You should be doing invitations. Write that down. That is a golden nugget. Because why? Because a lot of you overcomplicate it. You get real excited. You get like a this commission breath, right? And it stinks. Someone says, what is it? And you send them a novel. You send them paragraphs. It's just too much, right? You can't feed a steak to a baby. Old school versus now. Old school was, I reached out to people because we didn't have social media, so there was no attraction marketing. There was no creating curiosity, right? You had to reach out to people. You had to call people on. I know sometimes we forget that this is a telephone and it actually makes telephone calls. So with the telephone, I would call people and invite them to a meeting, to an opportunity presentation where we pitch them on a business. And the idea was, first we did these briefings and then years later we did home meetings. Let me know if you ever did PBRs, private business receptions like we did. Uh, but we would invite them to this meeting and then if they were interested, the next step was to get them to the Saturday meeting, the weekly meeting. Mostly they were on Saturdays. Sometimes we did them in different areas on like weeknights. But the point is we would, you know, fill the funnel, if you will, right? So we're filling the funnel all week and then we get them to the Saturday training. Right, so you're putting people at the top of the funnel, right? And the idea is to get distributors coming out the bottom, <laughs> right? To keep it very simple, it was get them to the meeting for a first exposure. The Saturday training was the second exposure. And here was the beauty. If they joined, now they're getting trained. And if they were thinking about joining, they were coming to the Saturday meeting to get trained and then they would know what to do if they got started. That was kind of the philosophy behind it. Make sense? So what we did is we took the offline strategies that work so well and we started implementing online duplication strategies and basically uh, that boiled down to ATM, ad tag message. So stop overcomplicating it. When someone says yes, I would like more information on your product, your opportunity, your company. What is it? Tell me more. What's it cost? How's it work? What is this? Whatever. They are raising their hand, expressing interest or you've reached out to them and they say, sure, I'll check it out. Don't get into explanation mode. Get into invitation mode. Say, oh my gosh, you gotta check out this video. You gotta check out this video that explains more. I can't do it justice, but I am blown away by this system, by this product, by this company, by this compensation plan, by the leadership, whatever you're gonna talk to them about, right? Because if you're talking to someone about the money, a little bit of a different conversation if they're looking to lose weight. But once they express interest, First of all, I'm putting them in my follow-up book. How many of you have a follow-up book? A follow-up book where you write down every interested prospect. So you've turned a lead. Remember, a lead is anyone that follows you, likes, comments, sends you a friend request. Your goal is to turn a lead into a prospect. So anybody could be a lead. But an actual prospect is someone interested in learning more. So you'd want to put them in your follow-up book. Keep track of the people that say yes. Why? Because the fortune's in the follow-up. They say yes, tell me more. I put them in the group. Based on what they're interested in, I put them in the group. I tell them, I invited you into the group, but I can't tag you in the video. I can't tag you in the information until you accept my invite. So let me know once you're in the group and then I'll tag you in the info. If they can't do the most basic thing, if they can't accept an invite, or they're just not, like there's people that are obviously a little bit like, you know, new to social media, to Facebook, to using technology, and that's fine. We're gonna be patient with those people, but there's just some people, they're just not that serious. They're not that interested. And I know sometimes people come to me and they're like, John, what do I do? All these people are ignoring me or I'm getting ghosted, totally normal. This is why you stay in touch. This is why you nurture the relationship. This is why you're a human first and a marketer second. Be okay with that occurring. 
It's very normal. It's irritating, but it's very normal. You said you wanted to get in shape. You said you wanted to make money. You said you wanted to fire your boss. You said you wanted to change your life. You said you want to look younger, feel better, have more energy. The bottom line is some people want to go to heaven, but they don't want to die. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, I want to be fit. I want to be happy. I want to be rich. Oh, I got to do stuff. I got to spend money. Oh, that's uncomfortable. I have to accept an invitation into a group and then watch a video. Oh my gosh, it's so overwhelming. This is just the deal. I'm sorry. It is what it is, but here's the beauty. I signed up six people, six new social marketers, personally, six personal recruits. And I'll tell you, they're all awesome people. They're all people at one point in time, ignored me, ghosted me, put me off, didn't respond to a message or said, no, not at this time. I didn't burn a bridge. I didn't say, loser, <laughs> next. I just stayed in touch and, you know, hey, when the, when the stars align and the timing is right, they'll buy my product, join my team, or they won't, or they never will. Either way, I'm not addicted to the outcome. Marry the process, divorce the result. So again, the most basic, most simple exposure process, they express interest, you got them from a lead to a prospect. The prospect says, yeah, tell me more. You add them to the group. And then once they're in, you tag them in the video. You tag them in the information based on what they're interested in. Now, I know we have a lot of people on here from various companies. In our organization, we have a product ATM group, ad tag message group. That's where we expose people to the products, the testimonials. They can learn more about the actual product. That's how we get customers. And then we have a business community that's all about the compensation plan, making money, et cetera, et cetera. We have a welcome post that has all the best videos. And I just found out, I'm so excited. We have brand new opportunity videos that are about to be unleashed. The point is, you need to keep it very simple. Instead of me inviting people onto a Zoom or a live webinar or a live in-person presentation or a home party, I'm ATMing my face off to build an MBA. I'll say it again. I'm ATMing my face off to build an MBA, a massive bank account, because guess what? If your business is you dependent or your, your downline is upline dependent, that's a problem. It's really hard to create freedom if whenever you stop working or you stop doing presentations, your business falls apart. The reason I love the ATM system, because it's 24 seven, 24 seven, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, people can add people to the group, tag them in the videos and send a follow-up message. And listen, here's my conversation. When someone's like, okay, I'm interested, I add them to the group and I say, you know, again, the tag process happens and I send them a follow-up message. That's what ATM stands for, by the way, add tag message, in case you're new to here, okay? That's what it means. But I add them to the group, I tag them and I say, listen, once you watch the video, I think you're gonna be blown away by our compensation plan, our company. I think you're gonna be blown away by the product. I'm so excited for you to watch it. Tomorrow when I follow up with you, I'm gonna introduce you to some other people we work with. Some of you skip this step especially when you're brand new. Tomorrow when I follow up with you, I'm also gonna introduce you to some of the people we work with, especially business prospects. Because when you're brand new, they don't look at you as a mentor, as a leader, as a success story. You just got started, you're brand spanking new. So your goal is to get yourself out of the way. And instead of doing a three-way call or a Zoom or whatever you do for third-party validation, you get them in a chat with your upline. You introduce them to other people. And when they meet other people and they see the big picture, they catch the vision. Some things are taught, but vision is caught. So they need to hear from other leaders. They need to hear from other success stories, especially people that have been involved for a little while longer. This is what helps me close so much business. I introduce my prospect to leaders, not just upline, but also on my team. So that's a step a lot of you skip. So you're prospecting and marketing, you're connecting with these people, you're adding them to the group, but the step that a lot of you miss is that, that group chat, that follow-up. That will increase your enrollment ratio big time. And you can even do this with potential customers because again, you're brand new. Get yourself out of the way. So all I do is I say, listen, I'm gonna add you to this group, tagging the information. Tomorrow when I follow up with you, I'm gonna introduce you to some of the other amazing people we get to work with every day. And listen, if you say, listen, my upline sucks, my upline doesn't respond to messages, my upline, I put them in chats, they don't respond. This is why, write this down, you wanna add three to four upline leaders, or you can add sideline, downline, find some people that actually respond to messages. 
because you can have them talk to your prospect. They're sharing their story. Everybody, what, what I love about the group chats on Facebook Messenger is everybody can take their time responding when they have the availability. Everybody can respond when they have the time to respond. It's so, it's so freaking simple. It is so simple. And here's what I love. The people that are introducing me to their prospects, guess who I'm going to work with? Guess who I'm going to coach and mentor? Guess who I'm going to be all over helping them grow their business? Those people. Because listen, the number one thing, listen, for those of you that are enrolling new people or you have people that are joining your team, maybe they're not personal enrollments, but the three, four, five, six, seven levels removed from you. Here's who you work with. People that are posting, people that are ATMing, and people that are putting you in group chats. These are the three keys. If a new person is not posting, they're not ATMing, they're not adding people to the groups, and they're not introducing me to people, I can't help them. I can't help you if you don't introduce me to humans. But this is why our business has absolutely flourished through COVID, crazy economies, you know, the social media recession, you know, it's harder to get engagement, it's harder to generate leads and sales. I, I don't know, my team is killing the game, right? Like there's so much opportunity out there, but some of you are overcomplicating a very simple business, a very simple process. So who am I gonna run with? The coachable, the hungry, the willing. I can't work with someone that's not willing to do the work. They're not hungry, they're not coachable. I'm okay if they're not coachable actually, because I can hopefully help them get on track and become coachable, but it's really hard to work with someone that's not willing to do the work or they're not hungry to do the work, right? Does that make sense? Like, man, I was starving. I was freaking starving when I got involved 21 years ago. Even still today, I do not do presentations. I do not explain the comp plan. I answer questions after they watch the video. I help them get started, but I am not explaining it because it's not duplicatable. I say, listen, could you do what I'm doing with you right now? Could you create some curiosity? Could you create some conversations? Could you add people to a group? Could you tag them in a video? Like if you can't do that, what can you do? What good are you? <laughs> I'm only kind of kidding, but seriously, it's so simple. You add them to the group. You like I hear some people's systems or I see their, their presentations. And I'm like, dude, you're like making my brain melt. No wonder people quit network marketing. No wonder people are uninspired. They're overwhelmed. But at the end of the day, you should have a very simple onboarding system, a very simple duplication system. And what I love about ATM is it's very simple for the exposure process. It's not the end all be all, let's be clear. ATM is the exposure process. It's not the end all be all. You have to create the conversations. You have to generate the leads. You have to be proactive in your prospecting and reactive in your marketing. Okay, you have to be actually proactive in your marketing, but you're responding to the people that are raising their hand, expressing interest. You cannot make money in this business if you're not following the steps to success. Some of us overcomplicate a very, very simple system.